Hello friends, in today's video we're going to be changing the CV joint on this uh, VW Golf. This particular model is 2005. So in order to change the CV joint, we'll have to remove this uh, uh, top uh, anti-roll bar linkage uh, mount here. So we'll have to remove this uh, nut here. Uh, we will also have to remove the track rod end, this one here. Okay. Also, we'll have to remove the lower suspension arm. Uh, it's uh, secured by three uh, nuts. Just gonna take the camera there. Okay. So, to start off with, we're gonna apply plenty of WD-40 on all these uh, uh, nuts and bolts to remove. And uh, we'll also have to remove this uh, drive shaft uh, uh, bolt here, which is a 27 mil bolt. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the anti-roll bar linkage uh, nut. So before we go any further, we're just going to apply plenty of WD-40 on all of these uh, nuts and bolts here. Yeah. Right, so these are the three nuts we have to remove as well. Right, so we're going to remove this uh, nut here. There we go, nice and easy. Right, so the next we're going to drive up the track rod and bolt. There we go, nice and easy. Makes the job a lot easier when you have proper tools. Right, so in order to free the track rod and ball joint, we're gonna uh, knock it with the hammer, not on the actual uh, uh, track rod end, on the bottom. There we go. Nice and easy. That's out of the way. Right, just gonna drive these three nuts out. They are 16 mil nuts. all three nuts out of the way now we're gonna uh, remove the drive shaft uh, main nut which is 27 mil there we go. nice and easy so what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep it there intact okay and uh, we're gonna give it a blow with hammer so that the drive shaft uh, pushed in a bit right so the next we need to do is to dislocate the lower suspension arm there we go there we go right so with the crowbar we're gonna dislocate the drive shaft now right so just gonna pull the drive shaft out of the hub there we go so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cut the cable ties so it's uh, the old one is secured by cable ties two of them right so just gonna Cut the cable tie. There we go. And uh, one here at the back. There we go. That's the cable tie out of the way. So the next bit we're gonna do is we're gonna drive the CV joint out. For that we're gonna put the hub bolt back in. And we're gonna drive it all the way in. And that's going to push the CV joint out. There we go. There we go. 
go. Nice and easy. You can tell why it's making the knocking noise. It's completely dry and uh, I can clearly see that uh, uh, it has seen its uh, good days. There we go. Nice and easy. That's the old gator out of the way. Right, just gonna remove this uh, clip here. And for that, We're going to use uh, two, so I just going to push it up, here we go, it flew away somewhere, right, just going to apply some WD-40 on it. Right, here's our uh, CV joint uh, fit. So it's, it has come with uh, the gator, the grease, the actual joint, okay, and uh, new bolt, and the clips, and obviously these two washers. So what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to clean the area first. So the next bit we need to do is uh, to slide the gator itself. Just like that. Here we go. Pass the gator in place. So the next bit we need to do is uh, we need to slide in uh, the washer. This washer here that goes in like this. Just gonna push it all the way back here. Next, we need to put this uh, bigger washer, then the clip which locks the CV joint. There we go. Here's our CV joint. Just gonna apply plenty of grease uh, in this area. There we go, just applied grease on, on the CV joint uh, itself, sorry about the camera angle, it's uh, kind of hard when you are working and making the video same time, there we go, that's good enough, we'll, we're gonna apply more grease, once we push the CV joint in, right, here we go. That's uh, good enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to push the CV joint in like this and we're going to tap it with hammer. There we go. That's good enough. There we go, just gonna move the gator back. That's good enough. There we go. Mm. 
Right, here we go. Right, so the next bit we're going to do is we're going to scale the uh, gator with the clips. So the way we're going to scale it is we're going to make sure that the gator is fully home. It's going to remove excess grease off it and then the way clip gets fitted is like this it's gonna it's gonna there we go a little bit more yeah that's good enough so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this tool here to squeeze the actual clip there we go, that's, that's good enough, that's all nicely done, it's not going to go anywhere, and same, we're going to do the same at the back, okay, so just going to put a small clip here, so that the grease doesn't escape, for that we are using this small clip, I don't really know the name of these clips, but they go quite handy you know people use cable ties as well but I always use the metal clips these ones what we are using the clamps so what we're gonna do is we're gonna squeeze it in like that all the way in like this Right, here we go. Just gonna there we go. That's good enough. So now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna use a crimping tool to crimp it here. Just like that, but we, before we crimp it, we're just going to make sure that this is all nicely home. There we go. That's nice and easy, nice and tight. That's fully home. Right. That's all nicely done. Right. So the next bit we're going to do is uh, we're going to. Put the drive shaft back in to the hub here like that there we go just gonna drive in this uh, 27 mil bolt So the next what we're gonna do is we're gonna scale the low ball joint. Just gonna put the camera here so that you can see what's going on. to scale the low ball joint to the wishbone lower suspension on
just gonna tighten these uh, nuts. And the third one here. Alright, here we go friends. That's the lower ball joint uh, nicely skewed to the lower suspension arm. It's gonna make sure that the drive shaft bolt is nicely skewed. There we go, that's good enough. Right, so the next bit is to skew the track rod end. Right, so it's a 18mm socket to scale the track rod and uh, nut. So just gonna use the torque wrench to, to torque it up. Right, so the last bit is to scale the anti roll bar linkage torque mount. So what we're gonna do is because it's not lining up to the to the hole here at the back, so we're just gonna use a use a crowbar to press the anti-roll bar down so that we can line it up nicely just gonna show you here there we go friends as you can see i used uh, the crowbar to press the bar down and now the linkage pin is fully home so just gonna scale that just gonna scale the anti-roll bar top mount nut there we go friends that's that nicely done right here we go friends just gonna use a breaker bar that's good enough okay and I'm gonna use breaker bar on all the other nuts and bolts which I worked on to make sure that they are fully secured there we go friends, that's uh, the CV joint fitted on.